Hi folks, today what I'm going to show you guys is how to create what's known as the square knot. Now to get yourself prepped, you should have already watched the video on how to um, get started with your knot and the length. All right, so this is going to be crucial. You're going to have two long, long strings. All right, you're going to want to separate those and keep those on the outsides. And then your two short strings, you're going to keep right down the center. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to have you guys use is actually some pieces of map board and I'll have you guys take some tape and tape your hoop right onto the map board. That way this doesn't move at all on you and you can take the map board with you to and from class. So here we go. What I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to take, after I've taped this area down, I'm going to take this area and I'm going to tape it down as well so it's nice and taut and it doesn't move around on me. If this is an easy way for you to start, go for it. If you get a little bit better at making the knots, then I would say you don't need to worry about it. Now another thing to consider is your design. In the last video I mapped out a design for myself. Okay, what might be a good idea, and this is totally up to you, you can cut this out and you can tape it right next to your map board. But I would definitely make sure that you line up your hoop or your knot end with the actual knot itself. That way as you go through the square knot, you know where to stop and put your first bead, your second bead, and then your third bead. Okay, so I'll leave that set right there. I'm probably not gonna wind up doing the entire piece, but I'm gonna tape this down so that it doesn't move on me and I have as a reference. So again, I want this to line up pretty close to this knot here that I have. Okay, so here we go. Now starting with these two sides, what I'm gonna do is grab my first side and I'm gonna make what looks like the number four. All right, so it kind of creates that essence of the number four and I've got this overlapping those two strings. Okay, so over here it's just kind of laying down doing nothing. Now this other side of the knot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna push it on top of this other knot end, okay, or the other string end. And I'm gonna grab my end of this, okay, and I'm gonna go right under, if you take a look at where this X is, okay, so there's an X being created, I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath both of those. So I'm gonna go under the two strings, which is my center, and then I'm going to go right up and through. So I'm pulling up. Okay. Now I'm going to grab this extra knot. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull that to create my first rung of the square knot. All right. Once I've got that pulled, now you can pull as tight as you want. Just keep in mind that as you pull it really tight, you want to be consistent throughout. So if you're going to pull it tight to start, you want to pull it tight all the way through. On this one, I did it kind of tight to start and then I loosened up a little bit. All right, so I made the four on this side last time. So I'm going to do the same thing only on the other side. So I'm going to make a backward four. All right. I'm going to take this exact same end. Okay. I'm going to make sure that it comes up and over in this. I'm going to come under, right through my hoop. I'm going to pull it tight. Okay. So if you look really closely at this, you see one little rung over on this side, and you start to see a rung or an overlap on this side. Okay. Now that I did my four on both sides, I'm going to take it, I'm going to do my four on my next side. So I go over, I want to make sure that I'm overlapping this string over here. Then I'm going to pull up my X, go under and up. And pull it kind of tight. Okay, so I made my four on this side. I need to make it over on this side, okay? So I'm going to go over this, I'm coming right back up and under. Okay, I make my four on this side, I'm going to go over it, go right up and under. Pull it nice and tight. My four on this side, go up and over. So 
So you always want to remember what side you made the four on. So I'm just going up and under. And as I do this, feel free to stop the video, rewind it, and rewatch so that you get an idea of what you're doing. So I'm going to keep on going until I hit my spot where I need to put my bead in. So I'm going to keep going with my fours. Okay, in this whole video, I'm just going to keep on. I'm not going to make this entire bracelet on this video, but you guys get the idea. Okay? I'll have to show you how to end this, and I'll probably do that as a separate video, or I might just show you in class. Okay? Now, let's say I was at the point where I did want to add my bead, okay, which is right here, but I'm going to make it a little early. To incorporate the bead on your piece, first of all, keep mind, keep yourself mindful of where you made your four on the last side. So my four was on this side last time, so the next one I want to make is going to be on this side. Okay. So to add a bead, what I'm going to carefully do is pull off the tape. All right. I'm going to grab my two ends of my summer, my center, and I'm going to decide what bead goes in first. And luckily for me, I made these bead holes really large, and I hope that all of you. Did the same. We all check. I check beads, most of them, so they should be pretty big. So your bead just gets strung right up the center, and then you continue on with your pattern. So my four, I said I need to make on this side right here. So I'm going to go around, okay, and just continue doing your knotting. Okay, and that knot is going to hold it right in place. So since I made my four on that side. I'm going to go ahead and make my four on the other side. Go up. Okay, again, if you feel like this tape in the center is kind of weighing you down, you can make it a little looser on yourself. That way this is a little bit more mobile. I just like having it taped down because it keeps these separated from those and keeps it nice and simple for yourself. It makes it a little easier, yeah, if it's a little looser to, to pull that up. And you just keep going through with your knots, okay? So essentially, guys, that's how you make the square knot. When you get all the way to the end of your bead, you're going to pull, or the, your bracelet, you're going to pull this off. You're going to grab all of your knots all together at once, so even your side knots or your side strings, you'll pull them all together. And then what you'll wind up doing is just making a big, huge knot at the end. So I'll take this and I'll pull it right through. Okay, and with all of this string, you should get a pretty good size knot. Some kids last year made a second knot. It's up to you. But essentially, once you get to the very end, You'll knot it something like this. Now, obviously, I'm not ready to end because I have all this other knotting to go through. But this should be big enough to fit through your hole. We'll trim off your extras. And then last year, what we did is we actually just rubbed a little bit of beeswax on the end to keep it from fraying. And it keeps the little pieces together really well. Okay. So, folks, that's how you do the square knot. I wish you luck. And I hope. Uh, I hope you do well on your first knot. Remember, try to keep your pattern consistent and keep this design taped down next to your piece. That way you know when and where to put the beads on. Okay? Good luck. Bye.